Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Harvest here at Planting Roots where I break down what we have been doing each month and discussing here at Planting Roots. This year, Planting Roots director Corey Yates began a seed series where um, she talks about what it looks like to practically meet and multiply, which just happens to be our theme this year. If you haven't already, I encourage you to go back and see what she has had to say um, about what it looks like to meet and multiply. Well, we are so excited because November 5th marks our annual Strength to Thrive conference in Columbia, South Carolina. We will be meeting in person. If you haven't already, it's not too late. Today, October 31st, is the last day to sign up. Um, so I encourage you, go over to the website and get signed up. If you're within driving distance, do it, do it, do it. It's going to be excellent. There are, um, are some really amazing women who are speaking and leading workshops and it's going to be a great time of just fellowship and worship and seeking the Lord together as we discuss what it looks like again to meet and multiply. We also just released another podcast episode on our podcast channel, Deeply Rooted. Um, below is the link to that la latest episode where myself and Morgan Farr discuss Betty Ford. Then after you listen to the episode on Betty Ford, go back and check out um, our previous episodes. We have started discussing our Women of the Word Wednesday, which you can also find that article, the articles over on our website at plantingroots.net if you haven't seen those yet. Um, check them out and then listen to our the corresponding episodes to go deeper. We have over 40 episodes already um, to check out. We have topics that range from PCSing and ETSing to balancing your career in the military and um, what it looks like to be in community. Each episode features women who are affiliated with the military in some way. And um, we just are, they're meant to encourage us in our walk with the Lord. Um, and so I hope that you would go back and check out some of those episodes because we want you to know that you are not alone in these different seasons that you may walk through. You're not alone and um, we're here with you. We have experience. There are women who have experienced things that you're walking through and um, can encourage you. So go check them out. Well, this month in our seed series, Corey has been discussing practical steps to study the Bible. In week one, she talked about character studies, and these are excellent because they focus on one specific character in the Bible, um, and they help us to understand that character's life, their choices, and God's response to their actions. Um, so go back and check out that if, for more on character studies. In week two, Corey focused on book studies. These are pertaining to books of the Bible. Um, Corey gives a simple example of how to study a book of the Bible. And personally, this is one of my very favorite ways to study God's Word because it reminds me that this is just one little piece um, in the whole, as in the whole story of the Bible. The Bible is God's love story to us, to his people. As we study different books of the Bible, we get an understanding of who God is from that writer's perspective. And so it's really cool. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best way to study the Bible, but that's just my opinion. Go back and check out what Corey has to say about book studies and how to practically study books of the Bible. In week three, Corey discussed word studies, and that's just like a specific word, and you just do a study throughout the whole Bible. These are pretty cool as well, as you, you can kind of see um, God's theme throughout the whole book, or throughout the whole Bible, depending on the word that you choose. So go back to week three and see what else that she has to say about word studies. 
And finally, in week four of our seed series, Corey discussed topical studies. And you'll find that the Bible studies that we have released through Planting Roots are topical Bible studies. And um, these can be helpful for different seasons of life. Go to our website and check out um, plantingroots.net to check out what topical studies that um, we have written here at Planting Roots. Then head back over to the YouTube channel and hear what Corey has to say about the topical studies. So we hope that you um, can take away some tools from the, from the devotionals each week as you learn to study the Bible or as you strengthen your study habits with um, the Bible and deepen your understanding of God's word and his love for you. Um, so I'd like to end with Paul's prayer from Ephesians 3. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he might grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than, we, than all we ask or think according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen.